In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God said, Let there be light, and there was light. The light that symbolizes wisdom and knowledge. The light of the world. The light of life. The city of joy, Calcutta, at present Kolkata, has seen the dawn and development of many iconic institutions. Among them, Bishop's College is unique, as it is not only the oldest theological college of the city, but also one of the oldest of India as well. In 1814, the letter of patent issued by the English monarch contemplated the setting up of the Bishopric of Calcutta. Hence, the Diocese of Calcutta was formed. Archdeacon Thomas Fanshawe Middleton was appointed as the first bishop of the newly formed Diocese of Calcutta. Ever since its establishment, the Diocese of Calcutta focused upon education for Indians. The Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, or SPG. The Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge, or SPCK. And the Church Missionary Society, or CMS, embarked upon the mission of disseminating education. Besides spreading the gospel, Bishop Middleton proposed to establish a mission college in close vicinity to the city. In February 1818, Archbishop Sutton, who was the Archbishop of Canterbury at that time and also President of the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, proposed to the Society that it extend its cooperation to the Lord Bishop of Calcutta in his missionary endeavours. Soon the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel granted £5,000 to the Bishop for establishing the Mission College. Bishop Middleton had a vision of an institution that will cater to the entire country and also to students from every part of the subcontinent. Bishop Middleton's vision of the college was first to teach native students church doctrine in order that they may become preachers and catechists. Second, to enlighten and disseminate useful knowledge to the people of the secular world. Third, for translating the scriptures and other moral and religious tracts and Fourth, to acclimatize and receive the English missionaries as they arrive in India. The East India Company offered the site for the college at Shippur on the western bank of River Hooghly near Howrah. It was about four miles to the south of Calcutta. Bishop Middleton found a site suitable. It was secluded from the city and near enough for his constant supervision. Finally, the foundation stone of Bishop's College was laid at Shippur by Bishop Middleton on the 15th of December, 1820. Bishop Middleton was deeply engaged with details of its foundation, but unfortunately, he died in July, 1822. After his death, his successor, Bishop Reginald Haber, took the responsibility for the construction of the college. Reverend Dr. William Hodge Mill, Fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge, was appointed as the first principal of Bishop's College. Dr. Mill was a great scholar, and one of his greatest achievements was Krista Shangita. It was the production of Life of Christ in Sanskrit verses. The construction of the college building was completed in 1824. By the following year, 
The college library had a collection of more than 3,000 volumes, including valuable manuscripts in different languages. On 9th March 1824, James Dunsmere joined Bishop's College as its first student. And very soon, he was accompanied by another student and his name was Daniel Jones. Bishop Middleton had donated for the college chapel and towards the college fund as well. Bishop Middleton had also left 500 pounds and about 500 volumes for the college library. The morning and the evening prayers were held in the college library until the college chapel was inaugurated in 1827. The chapel, a beautiful piece of architecture, was consecrated on 15th May 1828 by Bishop John Thomas James, the third Bishop of Calcutta. Soon, a printing press was also set up at Bishop's College. We must maintain this cultural heritage which we are having here, the campus, the heritage buildings. So what we have done, we have identified some of the buildings. There is a graveyard also on the campus and it is an integral part of the campus and it's so beautifully maintained. You should take utmost care because there are so many renowned persons who are uh, buried here. Initially there were very few students and most of the students came from abroad but later on even Indian students took admission. Some of the Hindu youths converted to Christianity. They joined the college and were trained to become catechists, preachers and school teachers. Some significant names were Mohesh Chandra Ghosh, Madhusudan Sil, Nihimaya Kore and of course Reverend Krishna Mohan Banerjee. Krishna Mohan Banerjee, an orthodox Hindu Brahmin, was inspired by Alexander Duff. After baptism, he joined Bishop's College as a student and later as a professor. He became the first Bengali convert to be ordained a priest in the Anglican Church. He was associated with Christ Church in the northern fringe of the city. Reverend Krishnamohan Banerjee was an acknowledged and popular Christian leader and published books on Christianity and its relation with Hinduism. The University of Calcutta conferred upon him an honorary doctorate. Michael Modushudan Dotto, a renowned Bengali poet, studied at Bishop's College after embracing Christianity. Bishop Middleton had a vision for Bishop's College as a Christian university of the rank of Oxford and Cambridge universities. Simultaneously, he wished to instruct Indian youth in the doctrines and discipline of the church. With time, the college deviated a little from its initial objectives and mainly provided a general university education. Around this time, the society took initiative to restore the missionary characters of the college. They considered the grand and large buildings to be a hindrance to the spirit of missionary training. They also decided that the existing site was unfavorable, inaccessible, and inhospitable. In 1878, at the request of Bishop Edward Ralph Johnson, the eighth Bishop of Calcutta, the society sanctioned the sale of the college building at Shippur to the government. It also decided to shift the college to the city of Calcutta in the form of a simpler establishment. Finally, in 1880, the Great Migration took place as the staff and students of Bishop's College moved across the River Hooghly into the city of Calcutta. Initially, they settled at Theatre Road and then eventually moved to the present college campus. Dr. J. W. Coe was at that time the principal of the college. Obviously, the appearance of the college at that time must have been very different from what it is at present. The house near the main gate was known as Nawab Kikoti and does not exist today. Reverend Dr. Henry Whitehead was the principal of Bishop's College from 1883 till 1900. He was associated with the newly formed Oxford Mission. A high school and an industrial school 
were brought under the umbrella of Bishop's College. The chapel at Bishop's College was perhaps one of his greatest achievements. The new chapel was dedicated on 19th January 1900 by the Metropolitan Bishop James Weldon. Later in that same year, on the 28th of December, the new altar was consecrated. It was originally made in Japan. During the early 20th century, Bishop's College provided theological courses as well as university classes. The college staff also tutored two boys' schools of entrance standard. In 1910, these schools were upgraded to matriculation standard. In those days, as there was no electricity, hurricane lamps were commonly used. The college moral and discipline were of a very high standard. The principal conducted the test each Saturday. It was conducted in the college chapel without even a single invigilator. The students were usually provided fish during lunch and mutton during dinner, besides pulses and vegetable curry. Occasionally, eggs were served. They had a feast every month. Bishop George Alfred Lefroy, Metropolitan of the Church of India, Burma and Ceylon, a great ecclesiastical statesman, took certain decisive steps. In 1912, the Episcopal Synod decided to abolish the secular department and strengthen the theological department of Bishop's College. Accordingly, the secular university classes came to an end in 1915 and the theological classes of the college were closed in 1916. The college began with a fresh start in July 1918. Thus, Bishop's College took the form in which we know it today. The Reverend Norman H. Tubbs was the principal of Bishop's College in its new setup. This was also a time when Bishop's College was a happy little community. Almost entire staff was British around this time. The first Indian to be appointed as lecturer of Bishop's College in the new setting was Thomas Sitter. He belonged to the first batch of students after the college restarted in 1918. The famous Christian sage Sadhu Sundar Singh visited Bishop's College in 1919. A friend of Sadhu Sundar Singh, who later became his biographer, was Bishop A.J. Appaswami. Bishop A.J. Appaswami was professor in Bishop's College for about four years. He was instrumental in the formation of the Church of South India. Bishop's College, around 1930, had adopted a semi-monastic pattern of life on the model of seminaries in England, established in the Anglo-Catholic tradition. Bishop Herbert Peckenham Walsh was the principal during this period. Bishop Herbert led a simple ascetic life. He was a kind and compassionate person and a keen gardener. Every turn, he and his wife would spend time in prayers on the roof of the residence. Bishop's College is a very old college. Uh, this college spread and created and formed and uh, made uh, so many church leaders. And what I have experienced, this is a second home for all uh, uh, seminary students. When they come over here, the faculties are so good, they are so friendly, they make such a way, we never feel that this is not our home. In 1936, the bishops of the Church of India, Burma and Ceylon, who were the ultimate governing body of Bishop's College, decided that it should be disaffiliated from the Senate of Serampur College. But after negotiations, that allowed the college to teach and examine some of its own papers, and a concordat was reached. Bishop's College has it, with it an aura, an aura that is unique, that you see no sooner you enter, the first thing you see is the chapel. And that signifies that our theological education has to be based on spirituality. 
A contemporary of Bishop Herbert was Reverend Premanand Nath Sen. He was an active evangelist after completing his studies in Bishop's College. Later, he was appointed the secretary of the Young Men's Christian Association at Calcutta by Bishop Lefroy. Reverend Dr. Nirod Kumar Bishash joined Bishop's College as a student in 1941 and was ordained a deacon in 1943. He was consecrated as the third Bishop of Assam in 1946 at St. Paul's Cathedral in Calcutta. As a student, Nirod Kumar Vishwas was at ease waking up early in the morning and was content with simple food. Dr. Nirod Kumar Vishwas also helped in running a medical station at Bishop's College during World War II. During the Second World War, the British and the American soldiers began to arrive in Calcutta. In 1942, the British government took over Bishop's College for war purposes. The college was given three days' time to evacuate, as the premises were occupied by the military establishment. The library books and other valuables were kept in the chapel. Eventually, the college moved to Khatauli in the district of Meerut in Uttar Pradesh. It shared the accommodation with the North India Clergy Training Centre, established by the Church Missionary Society. Khatauli is situated almost in the heart of the country, in the midst of North Indian rural setting. The Church of Epiphany, constructed in red bricks, stood tall in the town. On Sundays, the staff and students worshipped in a lovely indigenous setting along with the local congregation. Reverend Dr. Nirod Kumar Biswas, riding on a bicycle, provided medical assistance to the villagers of Khatauli. His Urdu-speaking fellow students would go out for evangelism. In 1946, the college reopened in its premises in Calcutta. On 15th August 1947, the college celebrated Independence Day with a three-hour vigil in the chapel, which included the blessing of the national flag. After returning to Calcutta, Bishop's College began to reassess its methods of clergy training. A concordat was worked out, and in 1946, Bishop's College was re-affiliated to the Senate of Sirampur College. With this, some of the papers for the degree of Bachelor of Divinity or BD were to be set and marked by Bishop's College examiners while others by the Senate examiners. Reverend Peter May was the principal during this time in 1948 as he took leave for six months. Reverend Jetnam Ashirwada Manuel was appointed the principal. He became the first Indian principal of Bishop's College. The Reverend Canon, Dr. Imania Sambhya, succeeded Father May as the principal. He was also known as an apostle of Christian perfection. In 1970, Bishop's College celebrated its 150th anniversary. The Reverend Canon Richard W. Bowie was the principal and the Reverend I.D.L. Clark was the vice principal of the college at that time. They believed in honest assessment of one's shortcomings and emphasized upon personal devotion as well as in the vision of a church which is both Catholic and Evangelical. On 29th November 1970, the Church of North India or CNI came into existence it was a union of Protestant churches that had been divided during the centuries after the Reformation in the 16th century. Bishop's College automatically became the main theological college of the CNI. The Church of North India had just been born, so we started welcoming students from other traditions, from all the churches that had come into the Church of North India. And so there was a process of learning from them and they're, they're also learning from our traditions here. So those years were a time of growing together within the United Church. Reverend Richard W. Bowie, the then principal, had to guide the college, its Anglican background, into an ecumenical setup. He himself was a former student of this college. Bishop Ronald Vincent Bryan 
another former student of the college, joined the staff in 1970. He was also entrusted with the responsibility of being the college chaplain and buzzer. Canon Subir K. Bishwas, another renowned former student of Bishop's College, also served here as a visiting lecturer. We became involved with his programs at the time of the Bangladesh independence uh, and many refugees arriving on the edge of Calcutta and he involved the cathedral and through, uh, through Shubia the college became involved in the relief programs on the edge of Calcutta. The Reverend M. V. Abraham was the first Marthomite to join the staff as a New Testament teacher in 1971. In the same year, Miss Margaret McGregor a missionary from Church of Scotland in the Diocese of Calcutta offer her service for teaching New Testament and Greek in Bishop's College. It means a lot to know that prayers are still going on here and I hope that continues and uh, it's a good motto we have. The lay courses are very important and there should be a stress on that. To identify Bishop's College with the Church of North India, the new college crest replaced the old coat of arms. In this process of transition, the college made a few changes towards holistic growth of its community. With this objective in mind, amendments were made in the constitution, the academic year was rescheduled, and new staff members were appointed from different church traditions. Based on the decision taken at the third synod of CNI, the governing body of the college gave permission to admit women students. In the meantime, the plan and proposal made earlier to move the college to St. Paul's Cathedral compound was withdrawn. The Reverend Pritam B. Santaram in 1976 was appointed the principal of Bishop's College. Earlier in 1970, he had joined the staff of the college. On 1st November 1976, the Most Reverend Dr. Donald Cogan, the Archbishop of Canterbury, visited Bishop's College. He was welcomed in the traditional Indian style. Life at Bishop's College always revolved around the chapel in a disciplined and systematic manner. The college has been engaged in ministerial training. The Reverend Dr. Matthew P. John, as principal, took the college further in its journey as an ecumenical enterprise. He led the college to explore various avenues of theological understanding in relation to both the present and the future, and also the life within and outside the college. The Reverend Dr. Shomen Das was appointed principal in 1989. He often reminded his staff and students that Bishop's College was a worshipping community. The Reverend Dr. Soman Das emphasized that the ministers of the gospel should be well equipped with theoretical, theological tools as well as practical, pedagogical skills. His vision for the new millennium was to improve the standard of theological education. Bishop's College celebrated its 175th anniversary in 1995. In 1999, the Reverend Dr. V. M. Gyanaraj became the principal of the college. With a view to building closer relations with the church fraternity, Bishop's College Sunday services were held in various city churches. Bishop's College really made me. They gave us the confidence, the experiments in theology, the community services and above all the fellowship with so many people coming from a different part of the world. The Reverend Shujoy Banerjee served the college as a lecturer for 30 long years. The Reverend Dr. Timotheus Hembro became the acting principal in 2004. The following year, in 2005, Dr. K. P. Alias a versatile professor of the college was invited to deliver the TP lectures in England. I had the privilege of doing my MTH studies under a father K.P. Elias, who was a well-known teacher then and continues to be a well-known scholar. The Reverend Dr. Sunil Michael Caleb was appointed as principal of Bishop's College in 2007. 
the college chapel was restored and renovated in 2009. It was rededicated on 28th April 2009 by the Most Reverend Purely Lingdo, then the moderator of the Church of North India. These 200 years of the college is the faithfulness of God and we look forward to the countless mercies and blessings that will come anew, come afresh in the days and in the years to come. Besides academic work and spiritual development, sports and games have also held great significance for the students of Bishop's College. Interfaith seminars and pastoral missions are also regular features of the college. The football field, it used to be a playground where all people, they came and they played together. But it used to be always a very healthy games. We used to play cricket, volleyball, football. Studying here in Bishop's College, I've learned and I've experienced a lot. Meeting friends from various parts of the country, living and staying here together as one big family with a common mindset that is to serve God and to serve the people. have taught me many things. The first thing is to see things differently because this is theological college and when we think about theological studies we just think that we talk about Bible, God, heaven and hell and all. But after coming here my best experience is I could relate my religion, I could relate Bible, I could relate Christianity with the issues that is happening in India. The experience in library was very, very enriching. And the most beautiful thing, which even now I miss, was the chapel life. Early morning, we used to go to chapel and spend some time in quietness and realizing that we are in the presence of God. It was so beautiful. Bishop's College sketched an elaborate celebration for its bicentenary in 2019-2020. The inauguration ceremony was held in the College Chapel on 15th December 2019. centenary year-long programs were planned. But then came the COVID-19 pandemic that shook the world. Students had to vacate the college and stay at home for months. Online classes were conducted. 
A thanksgiving service was celebrated on the 15th of December 2020 to commemorate the closing of the bicentenary. The vision for the future is that to be of greater service to the church in India and also help in making the church an agent of transformation. I wish Bishop's College many many more years to come that you may continue to send the good leaders into the church. My hope and prayer is that Bishop's College would continue to train young people who would take on the challenges of the times and present the gospel relevantly. I pray for God's blessing on the future of this remarkable institution. On this occasion, when Bishop's College is celebrating 200 years, my greetings and regards to everybody, and be happy and pray for our Bishop's College family, and God may bless you, all the Bishop's College family members. During its journey over the last 200 years, Bishop's College of Calcutta has manifested the light that symbolizes wisdom and knowledge. The spiritual light that has beamed across generations and over geographical boundaries. The light of the world. The light of life.